When you read the new Colossus, there is prophecy in there. You know how it feels. You understand what it is to be a stranger in this unfriendly land. Here's my hand. Here is my hand. Take it, darling, and I'll follow you. It's a poem about adoption. It's a poem about imagining a child, imagining the wretched refuse, the abject individuals, as the children of a new nation. It's an extraordinary vision that she has. France gave us a gift that has become the most recognizable symbol in the world of a national openness. And yet, it heralded an era of restrictive nativism, including anti-Semitism. Lazarus is well aware of this. I read Emma Lazarus and I think about the role of the Shekhinah, the divine presence, the, the mother of exiles in Jewish texts. And I hear that echoing in Miss Liberty's standing there, looking out with her kind, mild eyes, welcoming the yearning masses home. Emma Lazarus not only took a statue and transformed its meaning. She was the first person to make any sense of it. Everybody's from somewhere else, and everybody has to interact with other people who are from other somewhere else's. What that means is that this country is one that is caught in the constant struggle between what to remember and what to forget. The original idea behind the Statue of Liberty was to give a gift which commemorates a century of liberty in the United States. And lots of French artists wanted to create monumental things. And it was a kind of age of grandiosity. This was one of the tallest structures in the United States at that time, a kind of proto-skyscraper. She is maternal, and she is majestic, and she's unquestionably a goddess. She is the goddess of America. When the Statue of Liberty went up, people who wrote about it saw it as shielding the United States from all these unwashed masses who were coming in. But Emma, Emma espoused immigration to people who were terrified of immigrants. Yes, it's welcoming, but it's a poem of protest. I think the, the potential is there within America, within the United States, to be that place where even the quote unquote lowest of the low feels empowered. One of the most amazing sentences that Emma Lazarus ever wrote was, don't use the miniature standard of Europe to judge a colossal experiment. She saw America as something larger than Europe, partly because it was an idea. America was born in the mind, and anything that lives in the mind can be very, very large. The United States seemed to provide space psychological space, physical space, economic opportunity. There was room here for people for whom there was no room in many other parts of the world. I'm not sure that America is a place of refuge anymore. It seems to me that probably it's more, something more like an arena. This is a place where people come to realize themselves, but it's also a place that people come to prove themselves. So it's not about coming here and being welcomed and, and, and nourished and, and healed. It's about being given a chance. And instead of just assimilating to one thing, I think people are seeing that there are many ways of being an American. I think that's really interesting that this 
uh, identity is, is very malleable and, and flexible and fluid. And I think that's, I think that's what being an American is, that it, you can kind of be anything. If we are a nation of everybody self-inventing, you know, what's to keep us together? And I think that most people are hoping that just a love of freedom will unite this country. And whether that's actually true or not, well, that's why they call this the great experiment. You know, we don't know. Her poem is a warning as well as a celebration. And I think that if we fail to read it in both ways simultaneously, we do her poem an injustice, we do the statue an injustice, and we do the ideal itself an injustice. The Statue of Liberty is the one, in my mind, that gets the beating when I'm disappointed. For example, why have we not properly confronted the Native American past? She wrote in the epistle to the Hebrews, we are none of us free until we are all free. And her sonnet observes that light is not shared by all at this moment. Light is only the privilege and prerogative of some, and it's as yet imprisoned. The statue is always in motion. I lift my lamp, Lazarus says. The statue is constantly lifting that lamp, pointing us to the future. The Statue of Liberty is holding up a flag and a torch and a promise and a hope that we can be there, that we can reach the promised land. It leaves us with hope, and that's probably the most important ingredient in the human diet.